Hey, hello friends. Today we will talk about Mary Parker Follett, mother of modern management. It is actually a blog, so if you would like to read it, I will share with you the link and you can easily read it. And this blog, it is separated into three subtitles. So the first subtitle is Mary Parker Follett. The other one is some of Follett's approaches and finally four basic principles of management according to Follett. So Mary Parker Follett. She is one of the most important contributors to the early stages of classical management theory. She is also known as the modern of modern management. Unlike Taylor, Follett supported the idea of management in which workers were more involved, focusing on the participation of everyone in the operation rather than evaluating the human management relationship. She brought new perspectives by using the concepts of psychology and human relations. Some of Follett's approaches. According to Follett, management is the art of getting things done through people. That individuals have a relationship with society. She mentioned that it is difficult to separate the individual and society. We cannot put the individual on one side and the society on the other. We must understand the relationship between the two. Each one does not have the values on its own. They cannot exist without the other. She supported the principle of power with. She advocated that managers work collaboratively with employees. This provides a friendlier and more trusting environment than a rigid hierarchy system. In this way, employees feel more secure and valued. Additionally, employees tend to have a more team-oriented idea of achieving something while working. As a result, work efficiency increases. I think the importance of this approach will become even more important, especially as Generation Z starts working. Gen Z wants to work where there is less authority. Management with a more flexible approach is important for libertarian thought structures. However, working in an authoritarian or hierarchical system does not provide a very effective environment. That's why the concept of power with will become even more important for me. Four basic principles of management according to Follett. Firstly, direct contact. Secondly, early start, and the other one is reciprocal relationship. And finally, continuity. Firstly, direct contact. It is one of the principles that emphasizes the importance of direct communication and interaction between employees and managers within the organization. This approach can provide a more friendly environment Therefore, people express their opinion openly in this mutually safe environment. It further minimizes errors and misunderstanding in the process, thus work efficiency increases. The other one was early start. These principles state that problems should be identified and addressed at early stages. By detecting problems early, it may be possible to prevent larger problems from occurring and increase efficiency again. So, reciprocal relationship. This principle encourages people within the organization to establish reciprocal relationship with each other. Mutual respect and cooperation can create a more productive work environment. Continuity. This principle emphasizes that management is a continuous process and decisions should be made with long-term consequences in mind. Continuous effort and planning is required to achieve the organization's long-term goals. So, thank you for listening. I hope you got some uh, information about Mary Parker Follett 
And if you would like to add something, uh, this blog or podcast, so you can write. And yeah, that's it. Have a good day.